Hello everyone and welcome back to PvZ2 Eclipse. Uh, last time we were making our way through the daytime dark ages. This time we're going to be continuing that, but first what I think I'm going to do is, because I haven't done this in a while, I think I'm going to try and start doing the secret levels again. And I'm noticing the, uh, the earliest one I still haven't done is secret level S5. So let's go ahead and do that one first. And then we'll probably do two episodes of the daytime dark ages. So anyway, I did practice this level a whole lot just to see if I could do it. And I think I got a setup that works out pretty well. So these are the plants I'm going to be using. Although I'm going to replace the spike rock with something else, I think. Uh, do, 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 do. I think I want, like... I think I'm going to bring Cherry Bomb just to like end the level super quick if I need to. Where is Cherry Bomb? There he is. Alright. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm bringing the tier two sun trim and imitating it just to really whip out the sun. And puff trim's gonna be our, you know, our main form of damage for the early game. And I have the tier three grave buster because graves are a huge problem this level. Uh, and then I'm also gonna try and set up a primal pee in every row too, just to like really help with the zombies getting too close. That's why I'm leaving two spaces in the back. Also, I'm gonna put another buff room there to help deal with that guy. Oh, oh let's dig that guy up. Oh. Let's actually just use the gray. Oh, let me use the gray buster. Thank you. Kept messing up that gray buster so much. <laughs> just gonna put that sun trim out. Why not? Huh? Oh. Yeah, the early game is a bit hectic, but uh, I mean, who cares if they eat a few sun shrooms? Well, the sun shrooms are like super weak at this point. Let's use the Great Buster there, that'll dig up a whole bunch. I think I basically got a profit off of using the Great Buster there. Let's use it again here. Just to really get rid of those graves. Uh, we're starting to really like gain control here, the whole situation. Alright, let's put down more sun streams. It's really important that we keep those out. Uh, let's take up these two. I want more I want like three columns of sun streams, I think. Anyway, let's deal with Wizard ASAP before he becomes a problem. So we'll put up more pea pods there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I think I have all the sun that I want now. And I feel like we're going pretty quickly here. Let's dig up this guy, start getting a pea pod going there. So I used Spike Rock the first time I attempted this, and then the Spike Rock ended up being useless because there was a fair bit of Gargantuars that were ruining everything. So I don't think Spike Rock's necessary, we just need more pea pods. Or distract that guy. Although that torchwood is probably gonna get eaten up top. Oh nope, he didn't. Lovely, 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 lovely. Although he definitely is gonna get eaten. Top, I think top row really needs help the most. Here. Also, bottom could use some help too. Okay, here comes Mr. Gargantuar. Let's just throw stuff out to stall him. Oh, he didn't take the bait on that. Throw that out. Okay, we have a ton of stuff we can use to bait him with. Except the imitator takes a little too long to use effectively. Yeah, do forever be stunned. Oh shoot. Oh, hit there. oh he finally got it. Dang it. Okay, let's put the primal P there. They really need to start replacing these. Okay, let's use the cherry bomb here. 
so that was getting a bit annoying. Okay, okay, okay. Back on schedule. Starting to really rack up the sun now. I want to start getting those primal peas out. Okay, uh, we need a primal pea in the lane with Gargantuar, for sure. Stall this guy. Stall him again. Okay, so now that we, we have the primal pea working, we don't need to stall him. Okay, this is where we need the Grave Buster. Because I can't have a whole row of graves like this out. Another Sunshroom out there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm hoping we're doing this quickly enough. I'm pretty sure we're we're rocking it though right now. Although I see another Gargantua here. I think I just want to use a Cherry Bomb here. I can get the money together. There we go. That should have helped a lot. Let's try and help the uh, top, the upper rows more though. Let's dig up that guy. Boom. Do 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 do. Okay. So so far so good. Yeah, sure, a lot of bucketheads, ain't they? Alright, that Gargantuar is gone. Let's get more Torchwoods out. Yeah, the Primal Pea, I'm growing to really like the Primal Pea. It's a way better plant than I initially thought it was. Like, the fact that I can push back a Gargantuar is huge. All Super Graves. Oh my gosh, these graves are driving me nuts. Okay, let's start digging up the um the, the column three sunshrooms so we can get more guys out. I'm just gonna start loading up pea pods on rows that need that. Oh, the top row is not done. There, top row is now done. We also have a cherry bomb ready, so we can like wipe out one side of the screen. Let's see where the gargantua is at. The thing middle row is already pretty much dead. <laughs> okay, let's just load up the pea pot here. Load it up, load it up. Come on, we're almost out of time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And we did it! Nice! Look how close the red timer was to finishing. Oh, I forgot how many gems these secret levels give you. The fact that there's 20 and each one gives you like 10 gems, that's pretty good. You get 200 gems out of this. Alright. Which one do I unlock now that I've beaten that? I mean, obviously I already had the Cold Snapdragon, so that didn't matter. Oh, I can get the Escape Route now. Very nice. That's something I'll have to do. The escape Route seems like a kind of cool plant. You can like use it to get like out a heavy hitter plant in the early game and then move it around. Alright, so that was fun. Let's move back on to the days over here. You have to go back into here. Alright, Daytime Dark Ages. Level 7, let's go. For Amulet, thank you, Autolay. Now this is crazy. Perhaps we can make use of Garlemite once again, User Dave. More repulsion and diversion? I like it. Survive with the given plants. Okay. I was going to say, let's just bring piercing plants. Uh, why the Endurian, though? Uh, Shunflower. Let's put you there. It's your three Shunflower. 
So, I guess what they're trying to say is that get the plants out of that row because otherwise there's no hope of me killing them in the amulet row. Okay, let's start putting this guy here to get rid of those graves. I guess Endurian is like the only thing I can hurt guys um, in that row, you know. If I really needed to. Maybe I should start throwing this out. Yeah. You know what? Oh, you know, I can use the Garlemite on that cone head and I won't have to put a, not, put a repeater down for him. There we go. That was, I don't think that was a good use of it. Probably should get another one out. I wonder if this row is going to change. Or if I'm stuck with these. More stone flowers. I don't really have a way of getting rid of that grave, do I? That's the one that's like right in front of the Endurian. Yeah, because if you, even if I dug up that Endurian and put a repeater there, he wouldn't be able to break it with all the graves blocking him. So I really don't have a way of defeating it. Oh shoot, I forgot about this throw. Done this guy. I need more time to set up for him. Maybe I should have left more room because I'm realizing now that my sunflowers are taking up too much space. Okay. Can eat that. Is that going to affect the, the buckhead? No. I don't know if that. Okay, good. He still ate it. I might just put a repeater here, and then just like try and make progress on getting rid of these graves. Hey Buckethead, you're moving in a little too quickly for me. Let's just focus fire on these middle rows here, so I'm sure that's where I'll need the Garlemite. All the money I'm getting. This is a good level to bring a repeat, a boosted repeater on. I mean, it's not like I had a choice though. Yeah, I don't think I need any more sunflowers for sure. Oh, we need more garlemite. I gotta, I gotta always keep throwing out the garlemite there. Definitely running out of space to just like put things at this point. Anyway, that repeater almost has that um. Oh shoot! Oh, shoot! Oh, okay. I was gonna say he he almost has that broken. Oh shoot! I don't know if I can d deal with these guys in the middle row. Um, I have to dig up this repeater. I think let's just put him back there. An enduring in there for right now. Girl, might that buckhead. Okay, girl, might these boys, or only one? There, put some flower there to stall them. I need a stun in for that buckhead. Now we can put a guard of the might there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Actually, let's dig up this Endurian. I didn't. I should have just done this earlier. I just dig, dig up the Endurian so I can put more repeaters down. Because eventually we'll have to break through these graves. Because this middle row is too much to maintain.
Yeah, now we're starting to really make progress on clearing out the middle lane, because there's three repeaters there. In fact, let's make it four. Yeah, that should get rid of the graves, like, super quickly now. Alright. Another grave gone. We can do that. Grind my those two. There's only two left, and plus a regular grave. They're really sending out all the tough guys. Okay, I guess we'll just get more repeaters. I'm gonna focus more repeaters on the um, second and fourth rows, I think. Because those are the rows I'm throwing more guys into. Oh, we finally unlocked the middle row. Lovely. Yeah, okay, okay. That's, yeah, I should have just been doing that earlier. Just you yeah, have a repeater, like, dig up. Because that Enduring in the very back was useless. I don't, I don't know if that was the intended way of beating that level or not. But hey, we finally actually get the Garlemite. Very cool. I didn't realize I was actually going to get plants during the Adventure Extra mode. I wonder if he shows up on the map. Hang on, I want to see what it looks like on the world map here. Let's see, where's he gonna spit me out? Here? Oh yeah, look, he's up there. Cool. Alright, let's move on to... The, uh... Eighth level of Daytime Dark Ages. Now, am I gonna have to use him again? Are they gonna want me to use him again? Hmm... Right. We got Crystal Skull guys, and we also have some very annoying graves at the very start. Well, I can deal with the graves, like just bring a tier 3 Grave Buster, and dig him up. Although, I definitely, this might be a Garlemite level 2. In fact, why don't I, hang on, why don't I just use the same strategy I just used during the uh, secret level. So maybe... Maybe we can actually bring Spike Rock this time, because there are Crystal Skull guys that I really don't want to deal with. Hmm, let's bring Garlemite. I might need him. I like that little dance he does. I think he's probably modeled after the Chili Bean. I don't know, it looks like they have like the same animation or something. Alright, let's bring that. Uh, Peapod, Torchwood, Primal P. Uh, and then the Grave Buster. I don't, is that going to be fine? I don't know. Well, let's give it a shot. I don't have any instant use plants, so early game might be a little rough. Yeah, actually, yeah, early game's going to be extremely rough, ain't it? I can use, like, the Garden Light to, like, give out a little minor, minor stalls, but that's it. Well, they're sending an imp straight away. Let's use Spike Rock. Oh my gosh, I'm not prepared for this. Maybe I should not have killed that imp. You know, I'm in a lawnmower. I think the best course of action here is just to lawnmower those guys. Especially if I didn't have like any kind of early game setup. Let's wait till they get close. Do that. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. I should have brought like actual garlic. You're saying way too many guys at me, dude. We 
Well, at least that took care of the Ims. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm just not prepared. I need to move this knight up. Yeah, I really should have brought like Stunian. Stunian would have been so helpful here. Uh, munch on that, guys. Don't touch my twin. Don't move down. Okay, thank you. I can I can live with you moving up. This is so incredibly rough. Stun you. I don't care which way you move. Oh my gosh, I just do not have the situation under control at all. I want to kill that guy. Oh, it's not going to be enough. Oh, it, it was? Okay. Oh my gosh, and the Necromancer. Ah! Oh, and they moved to a row I couldn't even fire on. Oh my god, this is so bad. This is so, 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 so bad. Like, I need to restart this. This is not going out well at all. Alright, so we need early game. I think we get rid of the primal P. Put out the red stringer. Maybe that's good enough. I don't. I, I actually. I think I'm probably better off not using the garlemite. That's my opinion. Uh, because I can just dig up the graves with the tier three grave buster, and I think that's good enough for me. So let's just give this a shot. Okay, let's not kill that imp like super fast. I think that was my mistake. I put out like spike rock for him last time. Yeah, the buckheads aren't here yet. Let's do this. Alright, now let's put this guy out. Yeah, I think that was a huge mistake. Was le th killing that imp like ASAP. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Need more sunflowers. I need more sunflowers. I still don't really have any insta use plants. Let's put one here to delay that buckhead. I know that's kind of a waste of red stinger, but I really want to defend that sunflower. Do you guys have them? Are you gonna eat that sunflower? Oh, I still did. Nuts! Let's try I probably should save up for a twin sunflower. Well, I need something here in this row though. Yeah, I desperately need third row covered right now. Come on, man, don't need that torch wood. I paid with good money for torch wood. Torch wood cost me 125 sunnies. Oh, see, I really. I, why did I still not bring Stunyan? I'm so stupid. Sunflower for a twin, I guess. Look 
Okay, we're doing fine. I probably should just put out the spike rock though for these guys. That's my shine, you can't have it. Okay, let's great buster all this mess. I mean, things are going way better now. I definitely don't think using the Garlemite was the ideal way of doing this level. The old classic Peapaw Torchwood strikes again. We don't need any other strategy. Nah, no, my Torchwood. Okay, I'm just gonna dig up one of you, one of these. I see you, Crystal Skull guy, and I raise you a spike rock. No! You didn't have to do that, dude. And like, yet again, I only use spike rock to deal with the Crystal Skull guys. Like, I really don't care about anyone else that walks over it. I mean, so far this is going very nicely. Might even just throw out the red stringers for extra, like, defense. Let's throw out a sunflower here. Oh, I was hoping that would, like, absorb the shock, but no, he still got through the torchwood. Oh my god, these stupid necromancies. How do you expect me to deal with that? Can I put one? Okay, I can put that down. Well, I almost got full pea pottage here. Don't know what else I can really do. Okay, well, middle row's been messed up by that. Hard. To get the sunflower, put another twin down. Use the red singer to stall, because why not? Yep, this grave with the, the, the grave bustle. Very nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll start another peapot on the bottom. Because why not? I mean, I, I have no more use for my son. <laughs> Still pretty a okay until that happens. Oh, except they they're gonna eat that gray buster. No. Why did they have to do that? Send a gargant gargantuar in the same row. They put out all these super graves in. Oh my god! And there's like two crystal skull guys behind him too. Okay, everything is fine. Stick up this guy for the Torchwood thing. Oh, we got it anyway. Well, let's replace him then. Good job, everybody. Yeah, that my first strategy with this level, you know, my, my failed attempt. Yeah, that was pretty awful and bad. 
But uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, next time we'll be moving on to the finale of Daytime Dark Ages. I don't know what I'm gonna do next because I don't because um, Pirate Seas is supposed to be the next one, but I don't see it in this list here. I don't know if Every World has one, like a nighttime or daytime version. So if it if Pirate Seas doesn't have a nighttime version, I'll just move on to Wild West and then Jurassic Marsh, you know, as they appear here. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'll talk to you next time. Bye!